Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And imagine my surprise when I was grinding through Infinity Ultron. I crushed the first 24 stages with Eternals, with Shang-Chi, with Siren Rogers, and I get to stage 25 and I'm all excited to use my villains because I basically haven't used them outside of Taskmaster support from one all the way up to 24. And what do I find? I can't use them. They're all basically garbage. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. It's very bizarre. And I have a few theories, but I wanted to share this with you guys because it's unlike anything I've ever seen in the game before. And it may indicate certain hidden defensive values for Infinity Ultron, um, or it may just put a monkey wrench in my, you know, ideas and my uh, intentions to progress. So, like, look at this here. I mean, it seems okay until you consider that that was my transcendent rotation with a double support team and i did two and a half bars which means that uh with my regular rotation here that you're about to see well he iframed but surprise surprise it doesn't do much more damage and so i i tried with a bunch of with a bunch of teams moonstone loki proxima dr doom not dr doom but i tried i really did try and this was basically what i got in return this this black screen because None of my teams can do it. None of my villain teams can do it. It's absolutely bizarre. And uh, I don't know. And it's really weird because even with a mighty CTP, even with a reforged CTP of judgment and 22% pierce and double support, double support for my boy Mephisto. Look at this damage, my dudes. It is not good. What is going on here? Less than a bar of damage. Okay, on his opening rotation. All right, and then we're going to do the tier three. We're going to pop the tier three. And uh, this damage is even more hilarious. Less than two bars. Now, he's iframing and stuff. He's doing all this goofy, goofy crap. But, like, let's be real, guys. Th even if it was, even if I had done an extra bar of damage, three bars in 30 seconds. It doesn't take a math wizard to realize that that's that's basically not going to carry you through the fight, right? It could carry you through the fight. Li like, literally, that's exactly how much time you have if uh, Ultron didn't have any phases, if he didn't have any cutscenes, if he didn't have any, uh, you know, energy from another dimension. If there was literally nothing to stop the, the timer or to whittle down the clock, then, then three bars in 30 seconds would be exactly enough um, because it's six bars every minute. Five times six is 30, 30 bars, right? Five minutes in a fight but that's not the case so none of my none of my villains can do that and it's in stark contrast stark contrast to null and mephisto because yeah they're all world boss legends but the devs did tell us that ultron is a lot harder and i felt that he's a lot harder because my makari team which can barely do stage 24 was able to do stage 49 of null that's more than double but hold the phone here a double support a double support uh, uh moonstone team can do stage 39 of null with time to spare easily so she should probably be able to do 25 it's just hard to make sense of this because even without using reforged ctps right that was the one thing that i basically avoided in the last year i, I crafted my cards up back in in march and february uh, after a couple of months of, of practicing without Pierce, I crafted my cards up. I got 22% Pierce. Still, still has, you know, that that last 3% Pierce eluded me. But I was able to climb up to stage 50 of Null and stage 46 of Mephisto. Crazy, right? Almost halfway to 99. And and this dude is seriously going to stop me 25% of the way there. He's he's literally twice as hard as Null or Mephisto. And it's the, and it's the villain roadblock. It's actually wild to me. And so it's really funny because if you check the uh, world boss challenge records, which these scores, these, you know, 5.6 million, 5.2 million, whatever, these scores are a combination of the stage and like the stage that you clear, how fast you clear it, and then also the growth score of your characters. So you sometimes see characters from a lower stage, like rank four, but the growth score is much higher for those characters. And so I'm actually, I think the only player, I, there may be one other player, but I think I'm one of the only players in the top 10. And by the way, this is a very uh, illustrious top 10. There's me here. There's uh, Undying Beast, Beast Mode Gaming. There's Bacon X and there's Forgo. I'm in very good company and I'm not complaining at all. I wouldn't mind if I was ranked 13th because these are all amazing players. But 
basically, I think I'm the only one who uh, is clearing this content without a reforged CTP. And I know for a fact the players that are doing these villain only stages, they, they physically cannot be clearing. I have yet to find a player who can clear these stages with anything less than two two well-built villains both using reforged ctps or one using a brilliant ctp and i guess that's sort of where i draw my line in the sand i don't want to have to craft brilliant destructions and brilliant energies to then you know uh that's basically i th i think that's what killed godzillinator's uh passion for the game or at least part of it i don't want to speculate too much because that's his business and you know not my business but um you know, if you're going to compare, both systems are expensive for sure, crafting your cards and reforging CTPs, but reforging brilliance, uh, you know, there's only a 21% chance to succeed. And when you fail, you fail much harder, right? When you fail on a craft combine and you don't get the colors or the stars that you want, the colors or the stats, you lose one P card. Oh, one P card. When you fail a brilliant, you can lose up to six CTPs. Bruh. Bruh. You're going to compare one P card to six CTPs? I don't think so, right? It's it's just not. It's just not comparable, right? It's, it's not, right? It's, it's not. So that's kind of where I'm at. In addition to the fact that personally, although I tried using, I have a Mighty on, on Mephisto, his playstyle is basically the same, whether I'm using a Mighty or a regular Judgment. Um, but then for Spider-Man and Hela, I tried Mighty uh, Destructions. I'm not really a big fan of the playstyle. So I'm personally hoping this, you know, this video is, is to highlight the crazy defense that Ultron has versus villains. But personally, me, I'm hoping that the devs will introduce characters or, or supports or whatever that will allow players to continue climbing up against Ultron without having to resort to giving a brilliant destruction or a brilliant energy to Moonstone or Loki or these types of characters just to climb up to stage 30. Because I'm pretty sure once I get to 30, I could go back to using regular CTPs and I could probably get some stages done with characters like Sharon, etc. because it's a blast hero uh, stage requirement. But I might never find out because I can't first climb over this hurdle. And it's actually wild. Like you're telling me a native tier three character with double supports and a mighty CTP at 22% pierce it can't even get there. It makes no sense, right? It makes no sense because then you go down to 24 and I got multiple teams that can clear it, right? hero teams that can clear it with regular ctps right makari's got a, a rage and so does thena so it's really bizarre and then it was even more bizarre just to add it onto it is that cull city and black dwarf is actually really good this makes no sense i don't know man so for those of you that want to climb and don't necessarily want to get brilliance maybe try black dwarf with a mighty energy maybe that will work i don't know but check this out he's honestly not bad at all Look at this, his damage on his transcended skill actually does as much, if not more, than Moonstones. And then his regular rotation is pretty good as well. Now, you know, Ultron moves around, but he does close to a bar and a half on his, um, on his regular rotation. That's not bad at all. He might be able to clear it if I can somehow manage to get an absolutely perfect god run. But I really just don't have the patience for that. So, yeah, I wanted to bring this to your guys' attention because it's actually crazy to me how, how stark the contrast is between heroes and villains. We've basically, we haven't seen this much of a gap in a long time. Uh, and basically, for Null and Mephisto, villains were able to get by and bully their way through with supports like Ebony Maw and supports like Taskmaster more recently uh, and things like that. But Infinity Ultron is just, you know, casting every villain to the side. Not even Doom with regular CTPs can do it. It's basically the the, the bar is, is villains plus supports plus reforged CTPs plus, you know, 20% or higher peers. And uh, that's just a ticket price that I'm not willing to pay at this point. So it'll be interesting to see maybe getting Infinity Ultron is the way to beat Infinity Ult like to beat this requirement. I don't know, uh, but I'll probably just sit here spinning my wheels in the sand until they release something new because I'm not a big fan of the reforged uh, meta and then how the playstyle changes with running around. And I also am not a fan of burning half of the CTPs that I own just to upgrade a couple of characters like I'd rather have more characters on my roster be strong than a few characters be strong I find that that keeps me interested in the game for longer uh, and I think that's maybe why I like a lot, a lot of Alliance Conquest players still like the game because they're building wide they're not building tall 
Um, but yeah, this is this is very bizarre, and it, it basically uh, brings back a very old ar- not argument, but like a very old debate about uh, how weak villains are in Marvel Future Fight and how much stronger they need to be, which is not the case for any other content, right? In any other content, PvP, whatever, it's it's very well balanced. It's very well balanced. Like, the two best PvP characters right now are Adam Warlock and Doctor Doom or Spider-Man and Emma Frost, right? Like, you know, and then there's there's a few villains uh, a little bit lower than that if you if you go down the list, right? But it, there's, there's a lot of variety, hero and villain-wise, and we've seen the meta shift. We see Hela came in. We see Hulk came in before. Like, you know, th- there's constantly a shifting uh, from heroes and villains. Uh, and then the same thing goes for most other PvE content. Squad Battle, ABX, regular world boss, whatever, GBR. Uh, but not Ultron. Ultron's like, villains? Nah, get get the heck out of here. Absolute garbage. Completely dunks on them. So, yeah, my roster, my whale veteran roster is basically uh, rendered useless. So we'll have to wait and see. Is is Infinity Ultron going to be the one? Is uh, Thanos going to be the one? Who knows? I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah, no nobody that nobody is capable that I have. It's it's actually bananas. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, smash like button if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.